Just testing out the audio again, seeing where we're at. Just testing out the audio again, seeing where we're at. I'm hoping this works all right. Let's see. I'm hoping this works all right. Let's see. I know there's like a special view where I can see how things are going. I know there's like a special view where I can see how things are going. I know there's like a special view where I can see how things are going. Alright, I'm, I'm just going to go on uh, good faith that uh, everything is working alright. Oh, I can't go back. That was assholes. Sticking around with the audio again. So. There you are. There you are. I don't think the quality is actually that good that I'm spinning out on the stream here. That's my. Uh, that's my concern. Uh, as for your copy, I still have to go to another Best Buy. They busted my balls for a really long time. The guy even said, Oh, why don't you just go buy a regular copy of the game, and uh, then we'll return this one. I'm like, no, that's... So he, he's like, oh, well, if I give you a discount, we're going to have to... Um, you know, it's going to hurt the store's profits. I'm like, that, I don't care about your profits. Just give me a copy of the game. So... What is going on here? Yeah, the, the game looks significantly better than what I'm streaming right now. I just wish I knew what was going on with that, but... <clears throat>
think gear looks weird on the side of my face. Yeah, yeah, so okay, so I walk in, I'm like, hey, you know, I got it, I actually did get a genuine notification that Xenoblade was not going to be actually shipped to me till January 1st. I'm like, I, I show them this. And so I know that I can pick it up in store if, if I want to. Um, but yeah, the, I was there for like 40 minutes before before they actually like gave me the game. And I was such a huge headache. And I was like, oh my god, I just want to go home and play this game. That's all I wanted to do. Hmm. But yeah, what you're seeing, it, it's only at 720 when I'm streaming right now. At like the lowest end of 720. Because um, my upload is garbage. Uh, but the game looks much better than this. Um, I'm hoping I can get into some combat stuff and show you that. Um, this is about 20 minutes into the game. How's the uh, game audio versus my my voice? Yeah, if you want to head over to the one on, um, what was it, Dundas or whatever, and just like walk in like, hey, um, yeah, just, oh boy. Nice, yeah, what time does, uh, does she work today? Uh... Why would I care how old she is? Look worried? I'm not worried. Uh, I guess the exhaust is more important. Okay. I can change the game audio. Okay, so... I just upped the game audio a bit. Let's, uh, alright, let's, let's do look worried. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah. Well, that, uh, doesn't usually happen. Uh, yeah. We know it doesn't, well, that, uh, Lynn. Doesn't look, I know what you're happen. thinking. But we believe me, Lynn. young as she look, may look, and yes, thinking. she is young, she's actually one of our top talents. Most of the time. Yeah, um, so this character, um, I actually top named Chantel. Anyway. I try to make it as close as I could barracks? to. My wife, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing with like, the news I got yesterday, I just, as long as you're here, I don't know, I just, I, I sat down and I was going to make this big Brutus guy, and uh, that's just tour. what I landed with. That um, sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just an emotional right, time even for me, awesome. so uh, that's, uh, that's what I decided to do. What? Now the weird thing coming out of the side don't of her face is actually some kind of headgear. I don't know what the crap it is, though. Wait, why am I cleaning um, up your mess in the first place? That's why, place? like, her Land? left arm looks different Land? than her right arm, and that's that kind of stuff. In the first place? That's right, yeah, my wife is amazingly sexy. Wow, she's actually in the chat right now. Um, okay, I guess that's good. Confirm changes, sure. Oh, what? Oh, I need to remove somebody? How does this work? That one? Alright, let's do this. Yeah, the amount of, like, menus and stuff, just absolutely insane. Yeah, is the, the audio quality, that kind of jazz good? I have no idea how to get out of here. It's, the music's weird. It's got, like, slight rock, but then, like, when I was out in the field, it was, like, hip-hop, R&B kind of stuff. Let's do it. I did not know that uh, Chantel was also watching. I didn't expect you to be <laughs> on here already, but yeah, you can let your brother know. Um, the, the game looks much better than, than what I'm currently showing. So. And uh, Alan and I might go out to Best Buy to get himself a coffee at the super cheap rate. So after taxes came to like $56 and change, and the... <laughs> um, the uh, um, like the regular price is seventy four ninety nine. So happy I got it at such a, a, a lower price. Walking, that's for sure. And yes, the Illuminati is confirmed. We are the Illuminati. It's like a different city every time. It's certainly come a long way in the last few weeks. 
there's still so much to be The characters done. don't matter. Apparently the story is stupid. I guess it's super stupid. So, and I know I'm talking over the characters. Speaking of which, we don't really have um, time for a full <laughs> pleasure cruise here. Apparently like, the first, like, hour is really us But I'll, I'll try and keep it quiet. Just the high ones. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Doug and I were conducting the flight test. It has food production, scale development, you know, industries and stuff. It's also where the West Gate is located. One Remember? Shooter of the year, man. Shooter to pass of the year. Fairly often. The only other gate out of the city is in the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. The CD is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. Yeah, that's a good idea, Alan. Well, Ask for Christmas. Day or night, the best and so Chantel, the Game Awards were on last night. Best shooting game. It's like Call of Duty, Halo, um, some other game. I don't remember what they were. And Splatoon, and Splatoon actually won. Blew me away. Had no idea. If you're ever looking for quiet time alone, and want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the administrative Note the distinct dual-level structure here. The upper level holds our administrative tower, home to Blade HQ and the government. Not to mention Armory. Yeah, if you guys feel like it, uh, you guys could like subscribe and you know, give me uh, you know five dollars a month or whatever. That's actually not possible. I think I have to like stream three days a week and average at least five hundred viewers for that to become an option or something. <laughs> And this concludes our tour. We will be landing shortly. Thanks, Lynn. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Oh yeah, they also beat Destiny, so Splatoon is better than Destiny. There I said it. <laughs> so I think this Blade office is where you get like all of your missions and stuff and quests. So I really, really want to just do some quests. I want to get out in the field. The game looks amazing. Like, the city actually looks really boring. Um, from what I've been told, like, as you do quests, you actually help build up the city, though. Um, so the backstory that you're missing is that there's an alien invasion on your home world of Earth, and everybody's scattered, and you crash-landed on this planet. District, and thank you for flying Lin Lee Airlines. Right. Let's get you over to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well then, we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. We'll pass through Armory Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. No, so I want to get completely sidetracked. I want, like, what is, what is the quickest way? Is there a map? I want the quickest way to fight. Who are you? Well, the camera is way too sensitive. Hmm. I don't think I agree with that. Alright, let's switch this out. Setting. Like, just look at this menu. Look, look at the number of options. Like, this is just, just insane. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, left and right. Okay, let's scale that back a bit. There we go. Okay. This way Chantel will not get motion sick while she watches this. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do this. I guess my option is to just go there, but I don't feel like it. Wait, who are you? Uh, what is with this overrun? Sure, let's inquire about it. Oh, it's that guy's boss. 
Oh, so these are like little quests I gotta do. Okay. Okay, so that means I should probably talk to this guy as well. What is it? One, two, three. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, I'll talk, talk to this guy one more time really quick. It's required. Cool. Oh, he's gonna teach me some stuff here in battle points. Do this Alright, alright, let's just, I guess they want us to go here, we're gonna go here, although there's a yellow dot on the map over here. Field skill level insufficient. So when I was first out in the field, if you run up to a box like that and you jam on the uh, A button, um, you'd actually find treasure, so I was kind of hoping the same thing would happen. Oh, I guess I gotta go, right, they want me to go around the door. Wow, that's one hell of a leap. Look at that. Holy crap. Working Who's this hard? guy? Huh. Alright, that's fine. Am I right? Hey. Who's, who are you? What? Is he well. 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 Is my, my voice actually okay? There's not like too much background noise or anything like that. I didn't have a chance to actually listen to it, so. Alright. Okay, we're getting we're getting close. I just wanna jump. There we go. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. That jump, oh my god. And here we are. The blade bearers. I think uh, I think Alan Bale. Consider yourself our guest no until watching. we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go Consider as you please. Our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I think I can answer that one. I think I can answer that one. So you must be the latest rescue. So Secretary Nagi. The latest rescue. Ms. Koo. Chipper is always Secretary Nagi. What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into what Doug Barrett say? on the way. Oh, it's okay. And I did not know you were there. For some so reason you're just not in the anything about the today's weird flight, I should know. No. Nothing to worry about. Good. Be sure it stays that way. More importantly, Elma. You found another one. Excellent workout. Just will be very happy job, with the Mr. Secretary. Speaker is all ordered. Now, as Just for officially job, registering our new citizen here, why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Why don't we talk inside? Ah, yes, of, of course. Cover. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Forgive me. Please, you after you. I'll put on some tea. Please, after you. I'll put on some tea. Yeah, sorry this is just like non-stop cutscene city. The first couple minutes was like, hey, you're out in a field. Um, they just found you like lying on the ground or like in some kind of pod or whatever. Um, I guess you've been sleeping there for two months. Who? Oh, sorry, I missed I missed that. Who's na whose middle name is Pep? Um, okay, yeah, I can skip the cutscene, but apparently it is kind of critical to know what you're doing. It's, uh, I guess, an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate evil in this kind of scenario. Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. Allow me to you may remember me as Captain of the White Wing. Now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a job right here with Blade? She seems capable. I want to start working right now. Let's give it a little more time. At least until she knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. 
She seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? She could barely remember her name, and nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot of us have only been on this planet for what? Two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. Well then, where should we begin? Yeah, I probably should stop talking over them. Well then, where should we begin? Um, okay. Ask I don't care how I ended up there. Ask a question about registration. I don't... I guess clarify? I don't know. I don't know what the right answer Blade is for that. Is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction Blade of Earth. Is an acronym. Quite fitting, I think. Of a it's a relatively new organization. That's a dumb acronym. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on the mirror. We needed food, water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own, so Blade was born. The idea was to have one central organization, different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. But... Fighting isn't our most important duty. Right now, we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the lifehold. Take a look at this. It doesn't mean much to me at all. <laughs> the White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers. All of them held in stasis. All housed in a structure called the Life Hold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the Life Hold. Are in the Life Hold. With any luck, they're all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But, there's a problem. We now know the life hold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. What we don't know is exactly where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Blade's top priority. Uh, oh, I actually have to go through all of them. Alright, guess that's next. It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. The casualty of a battle between two hyper-advanced alien civilizations. Their technology and weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash and blown away. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. If maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus. And no escape for any of us. Did it go perfectly? No. But we are here, and we are alive. We survived. So yes, Project Exodus. Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Those of us who escaped on the White Whale spent over my, two years wandering um, in space. Responses actually have any impact. Hard years. I never looked into it. But we clung to our mission. Find a habitable planet and settle there. But 
We clung to our mission. We had no idea how, how long it would take. We had no or idea how long that the decision would eventually be made for us. Or the the Xenoforms found us again, and, us. well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Found us Earth again. wasn't enough. They wanted they humanity wanted destroyed. Earth wasn't enough. For they better and for worse, destroyed. we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of better the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive the entering wheel. the atmosphere intact. The ship had taken way too much damage. We had no choice. We channeled intact. all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. We, no choice. we channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Alright, on to the last question, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. All citizens of NLA are required to register their name, age, uh, and yes. occupation. We also ask you report any personal assets and take a short survey regarding your current state of health. All purely as a precaution. I'm sure you understand. As the caretakers of humanity's survival, we all have certain responses. Oh, as for the mass effect thing, I'm not sure if my answers have any bearing on anything. Registering gets you access to all kinds of public services. In any case, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. You'll be wanting some time. Ms. Koo, even I'm tired of hearing myself speak. Why don't you take our guest out for some air? Perhaps a tour of the administrative district. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. Yes, sir. Come on, we'll keep this briefing brief. All right, got a bunch of money. All right, now how do we how do we get out of here? Oh, now the camera's just a bit too slow. Oh, what is this? I, yeah, I don't actually have a map. Like on the gamepad right now, it's it's blank. Eventually, as like I do things, it'll fill out apparently. Um, okay, so this is clearly the wrong way. How does this work? Oh, I can go to sleep and wake up at a different time. Okay. Alright, don't need to change the time yet. Um... Guessing this way? Oh, I totally missed the door. Ah. Alright, let's... Let's try and get good. I'm, I'm really struggling at this whole walking thing, apparently. Uh, yeah, let's let's exit the administrative district. Or to it, I guess. Yeah, they kept touting, like, no load times. And then there were load times. So it's... If you're out in the open world, there isn't any additional load times, is the, is the main thing. When you actually when I actually get out there and you see how big it is, it, no, it'll be worth it. No, it's not every day we're authorized to let a civilian tour the administrative district. No, it's not every day we're yeah. authorized to let a civilian. Yeah, Nagi must really, really want her to join Blade. Yeah, Nagi must really. really the AD want her is a bit different from the other districts. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any extra fluff. It's got everything a Blade would need, all in one place, without any Get extra fluff. Get a load of that skill. Even the way that they walk is so cool! Oh yeah, work it, baby! Yep, exactly. Illuminati confirmed. Geek out. Or clarify. <laughs> Those are my options. I, I don't think I'm gonna sit there and gaze at it, so we'll just get some more information. It's a mech. We what? already, I guess, all you know. You don't remember what a skell is? That gorgeous exoskeleton that just went by? You don't remember what a Basically skell like is? the most incredible, the awesomest super, super weapons ever? Lasers, force fields, bipedal and vehicular transformations. Ever? Sorry, Lasers, just... Force I get so excited whenever I think about it. Sorry, just... I get so excited whenever I think about it. 
Originally, scales were developed as a defensive measure to counter potential alien threats. It wasn't enough to save Earth, though. We were outnumbered and outgunned. Still, just look around you. New LA has gone from basically nothing to this in just two short months. We could never have come so far so fast without scale technology. I'd love to get you into one to see for yourself, but it's not that Apparently I don't get one of those to like 30 hours in. For one thing, only blades are allowed to pilot scales. And even then, you need a license. These aren't toys we're talking about. They're complex machines with powerful weapons. And hey, they're the a precious resource. The girl with the black hair, her so hairpins. Um, yeah. it's in her hair. So yes, is is a Minado. Um, the sword from the ori the uh, first Xenoblade. Uh, Chronicles. I'm sure you're thinking, where do I sign up for the test? I, I'm pretty it's sure that's what that, that was. They choose you. Yeah, not it's the all it's all all connected. You can't just walk in the front door and volunteer. There is some criteria. The details are largely hidden, but basically HQ only allows the cream of the crop to take the test. Blades who go above and beyond in their duties and for the people of New LA in general. So what do you say? If you become a blade and work hard, I'm sure it'll only be a matter of time before they tap you on the shoulder. Speaking of work, that reminds me. Why don't we check out the mission control board first? That's where we take on our assignments. Why don't we check out the mission Good call. Board first. Let's head on over. There we go. That's what we want. Mission control. Let's do it. So this is mission control. Oh, they have we to, don't have a dispatch to explain how yet, quests so works. blades usually choose their own assignments. Everyone comes here and selects from the missions available on the board. And it's not just official blade tasks. Anyone with a request is free to post here. Businesses, citizens, whoever. Yeah, it's basically how anything gets done in New LA, so the board is constantly updating. Just about every blade you stop by here at some point in their shift. It's like our second home. You'll always find a number of blades around here, blowing off steam or browsing mission control for their next assignment. Whenever I get freed up, I'll stop here first thing to check for any missions I might be suited for. Likewise. And if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo, that's what the scout console is for. We should show you that next. Hey, who's giving this tour anyway? We also have the scout console, if the assignment seems too tough to handle solo. And uh, Elma just said that, didn't she? Hey! Alright, let's do this. What? Oh, I, I can't do anything. I guess I gotta, gotta really check this one. The Blade Scout Console. When the going gets tough, the tough go to the Scout Console. You know, to get tougher. If you do end up joining us, you'll quickly realize just how important this little kiosk is. A lot of the mission control assignments are too much for any one blade to handle. They tend to call for multiple members with specialized knowledge or unique skills. This console lets you search for and recruit other blades to fill those roles for just such an occasion. I'm guessing this is where the multiplayer you can't spell stuff blade comes without in. Team. Sort of. Anyway, awesome, right? So you're ready to join up? Hang on, Lynn. Take it easy, would you? What? I'm just saying you'd have to be some kind of an idiot not to want to join Blade. Or maybe a crazy person. Oh, and here I thought you might be pressuring our guest. Apology accepted. Now, how about a little shopping? And I'm not talking about the stuff over in the commercial district. I'm talking about Armory Alley. Okay, this might be more, more interesting. Listen. We gotta get gear all the time. Um, somewhere around here? Oh, there we go. So this street's what we call Armory Alley. Once we get all this administrative stuff out of the way, should be a lot better. Many of the vendors here. 
I won't lie. Most Blade members face danger on a daily basis. Having the latest gear isn't about impressing your friends. It's a matter of survival. Having the latest gear isn't True enough. And that goes not only for your personal armor and That's right, Alan. Not about impressing your friends. Survival. And that's for equipment as well. You can even buy whole scales. Can you imagine owning your own scale? You can even buy whole scales. Can you imagine owning your own Oh, right, the door. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Blade Tower. I think all that's left is the heart of Blade itself. Okay. Hey. Hopefully this will be like the last of the administrative stuff I have to do. Really? We're right back where we started. Oh, wonderful. Listen. It's weird how it stops me and I have like so that yeah, weird slide. Blade Tower. When we come here, it's usually to stop by Blade <laughs> HQ. The higher ups, like Secretary Nagi and Commander Vandom, will spend most of their day here. The government leaders, too. They're based in the tower. Guys like our new Director General Maurice Chausson, for example. Blades sometimes report to the leadership here after we finish key assignments. You'll want to remember this place. And that about does it for our tour. So, what do you think? Pretty amazing setup, right? You can't wait to join Blade, right? Okay, Lynn, seriously, that's enough. We're not here to make a sales pitch. We just want you to have all the facts so you can make an informed decision to join us, or not. Now that you've seen where and how we work, hopefully it made a good impression. But your decision will be just that. Your decision. In any case, let's head back to the barracks. Oh, the guinea pigs, right. Yes, we will overwrite the other data. I suppose that's fine. Okay. Uh, I think yeah, we gotta go back in. Um, yeah, message me about you know if you wanna go get the game or not. Um, Gentel's also coming back from the states today, so even though she's chatting with you, she's actually in the states. So um, I am in charge of making some pita bread today. So as long as that uh, none of that stuff conflicts. Um, I don't think it'd be too long to go and pick up the game for you. So, yeah. Yeah, if you want to do that. Let's see if uh, Chantal has any. Um, is it, is there a way to do with something? Reservations. Uh, about it. I can't believe I just cleared that. That's hilarious. Um, oh, I need to get inside. So I'm guessing I'm just going through this door. Unbelievable. How how do I get back inside? Oh, I'm guessing it's that flashing door on my map. Okay, let's try this. Um, can I get to it? Okay, I think I gotta go up the stairs. Okay, so either either the door's still above me or it's below me. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I didn't do very well with that one apparently. Thank you, Ms. Gu, but I can't stay long. I just wanted to pass along a request from your commanding officer. Commander Vandom? Hmm. Does it have anything to do with our new arrival? Correct. He stopped by while you were out on your tour. He said he'll come back, but that I shouldn't wait to ask him. <laughs> Here we go. I bet I can guess. You probably can. He wants to fast-track our new friend here for blade duty with a training assignment. What in the hell are we waiting for? As he put it. The commander does have a way with words. 
<laughs> Makes even my pitch sound smooth. I explained about the memory issues, but he didn't see it as a problem. And to be honest, given our current need for blade recruits, I can't say I entirely disagree. Hey, it's not me you need to convince. Blade service is voluntary, remember? Of course. And I would never force or coerce anyone. Well, friend, what do you say? Can we count on you to do your part? Well, friend, what do you say? Yeah, sounds good, Chantel. I'm going to just keep recording this. I'm just going to be on here doing my thing. Um, it'll save it forever, and then I can upload it to YouTube, and you can watch it uh, whenever. But I'm glad you guys were around to, you know, watch a bit of it anyways. I wonder if I was to refuse becoming a blade right now, if, like, the, like, the game just says, Oh, okay, here's a farm. Go grow some vegetables. And then that's just the end of the game. I love you too, Chantel. Yes, go charge your phone. Let me know when you guys uh, do leave. And all I that knew stuff. you'd make so the right choice. Hopefully, you'll have a, a good drive. It's Welcome only one, so I'm assuming. I knew you'd make you know. the right Elma, she can start on your Still a while, little while we before you leave. Training immediately. Yes, Mr. Secretary. With pleasure. Begin training immediately. All right. Yes, Mr. Welcome to the Cool With Kids pleasure. Club. Now then, let's discuss that training assignment. We've decided to start you out on a probe installation, just to get your feet wet. I guess we should back up a bit. Here in New LA, we're using a specialized computer system called FrontierNav to help us deploy a sensor grid across Mira. A network of data probes that allows us to monitor conditions and collect all kinds of information about the planet. Expanding that grid and filling in the blind spots is one of Blade's highest priorities. Here, take a look at this. What you're seeing on screen is a terrain map that includes New LA and the surrounding landmass. As you can see, we've divided the area into a series of hexagonal blocks. We call these blocks segments. Together, they form our grid. We determined this was the most efficient pattern given the limited range of our probes. Based on it, we know exactly where we need the probes to go. Now we just have to install them. The sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. The Frontier Nav probes can also detect the general locations of living things in the vicinity, which comes in handy if we need to track down a blade or another citizen. Yes, quite handy indeed. So for this first exercise, you'll be heading here, to that white segment. Go there, install the data pool, and then come back home. Got it. East of the city. In that case, we can take the east gate out of the administrative district, right? We should be there in no time. I'll leave the details on the data probe installation procedure to you, Of course, Mr. Secretary. All right, you two. Shall we? Of course, Mr. Secretary. Yeah! Training or not? Let's go install the hell out of that pro. Yeah. Let's go install the hell out of that pro. All right, there we go. Let's do this. I'm hoping it's to be a genuine mission this time. Um, they're definitely the, just throwing money at me right now. It's like, thanks for the tour. Here's five thousand gold. Oh, thanks for signing up. Here's ten thousand. Um, head to the designated site. Okay, cool. All right. I like how everybody's now left, and uh, all the cool stuff's about to, uh, to begin. That's okay. Alright. Man, am I glad we pulled an assignment to the east of the city this time. It'd be a long walk all the way back over to the west gate. Hold on. Are we even sure the east gate will be open? Last I heard, it was still on lockdown from all the high-level indigen activity. It was, but they just lowered the threat level earlier today. The gates are officially open for business. One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? One of our teams must have gone out there and kicked some furry indigen butt, huh? Yeah, sure, yeah, I'll take credit for that. Seriously? That was you? Cool. 
I don't think so. That was you? Those Grexes we took down were fairly routine. Definitely not something they'd lock both gates over, at least. <laughs> then I take my cool back. But wait a sec. You guys uh, guess I was wrong. The two of you? Hey, that's still pretty cool. They've been hassling a lot of teams lately. Especially how they hunt in packs and all. Let's not get too excited. Confidence can be good. Overconfidence can be fatal. Especially when you're new. Yeah, you're right. Especially when you're new. But enough talk. We've got our mission yeah. to deal with. Let's head out. But enough talk. Roger. Got our mission that probe isn't going to install Let's itself. Let's get to the east gate, shall we? Roger. That probe isn't going to install itself. Let's get to the east gate, shall we? Let's get. Hoping. Okay. Where are we at? Oh yay, nice. I've got a genuine map now. This is exciting. Alright, so... Oh, but the map's fairly not useful. Okay, I'll just use the map on the... Oh yeah, I don't know else can see. Still think this jump's hilarious. Nice and long jump it is. It. Let's go talk to this person. There we go, now, now we're getting serious. Yes? Cool. Picked up a slight quest and just gotta kill some stuff. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, this game oh, it just looks so fantastic. Such an amazing looking game. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I cannot kill that. Let's, let's go for this crystal here. Oh, everything's a big joker, isn't it? Alright, level 5. I'm pretty sure I can do that. See where it brings us. Wow, that's that is clearly a marker for something. Look at that beam. What? Oh, I want to fight that thing. I do get absolutely decimated. I don't get that. Oh. Wow. Yeah. If anybody has ADD, that this game is difficult. Uh, just like look at all these things that it's telling me to run towards. I pick them all up. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get all this stuff. I don't know how important or not important it is, but you know, take take the uh, Skyrim follow theory of just pick up absolutely everything. All right, so jumping apparently makes things way more difficult to, to pick up. So. All right, so our objective somewhere here. We draw higher levels of six and seven. Should I touch him? I don't know. I don't actually know what level I am. What level am I? Perfect. Down here. Oh yeah, I guess I may have picked up some gear. Alright, let's see. What level am I? 
attack. My character is level five, rank seven. Okay. Don't know. Attack eight. Okay, so I can't use that yet because that's level seven. Um, this looks about the same. A little bit better. Yeah, both of those are worse. That one is better, but I can't use that one yet. I guess you can like. Okay, so that's the knife. Um, oh yeah, so this is the headpiece I got. Okay. That one's better. Okay, I can't can't wear that one yet. Not till level eight. And that one's worse. Okay. I don't know, yeah, defense one versus three, that's fine, let's keep uh, keeping on. Oh, there we go, this, this gear's better. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I guess we're all equipped and ready to go. Alright, so, our target's this way. Let's see what we can do. <coughs> Oh, cutscene, here we go. What the hell happened here? That's some pretty heavy stuff there. One Sinicula could have killed all these Simeus. Unless. Unless. What? This is bad. What's bad? I don't follow you. That Sinicula. It's a tyrant. Huh? But it looks just like any other Sinicula. Think about it. Your typical Simeus is way higher up on the food chain than your typical Sinicula, right? Usually, we'd find one Simeus standing over three or four Sinicula corpses. But here, the tables have been turned. And I don't see a single trace of any other indigents in the area. There's only one explanation. That Sinicula is a tyrant. Let me check the Blade Report database. If there's a tyrant this close to the city, Nobody someone likes must have run across it. Bingo. There was a Sinicula tyrant sighted not too long ago. But it was a couple of segments further out. It could have followed the blade that spotted it back towards New LA, or come here to feed. Who knows what? It's crazy. I can't believe there's a tyrant right on our doorstep, and HQ isn't doing a thing about it. Well, don't forget why they sent us here in the first place. Frontier Nav's range is still limited. They couldn't track it if there's no local code. They must have lost it when it went off the grid. They must have lost it when it went off the grid. I I don't think we'll be able to kill it, but I'm gonna suggest we kill it. Whoa, 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 there, rookie. We're talking about a tyrant. Do you even understand what that means? We should probably explain. Tyrant is our term for any indigenous life form that falls outside of our usual threat ranking system. In other words, they're too powerful for us to even measure how dangerous they would be to take on. And too powerful doesn't always just mean physically strong. If a creature has even a single especially nasty trait, it's classified as a tyrant. Even some of Blade's very best teams have come back with serious injuries after running into a tyrant in the field. If they come back at all. Um, okay, so yeah, I don't think we'll be able to kill it, so let's see if we can at least lure it away, maybe? As long as you understand the option. risks involved. As long as you understand Lynn? Risks. Count me in. The same goes for everyone in New LA, but if we're gonna settle here on this planet, we're gonna have to get used to dealing with tyrants now and then. Besides, if I need to, I can always run away while it's busy chewing on one of you guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't push it, okay? Either of you. Fair enough. If we can take it down, great. Don't but if not, it, even just luring it away would be a moral victory. As long as we buy enough time to install the probe, 
We can use Frontier Nav to track it or any other tyrant that comes this close to the city from now on. Just make sure you're ready before we attack. This will be tougher than anything else we've faced. Okay, so gear and arts, engaging tyrant. Ground gear, level up. Oh, okay, I didn't know about leveling up. So main menu, party, heiress, then X for upgrade. Okay. Let's try that. Party. Arts. That was something like heiress instead. Arts? I like friggin' missed that. Down here. Yeah, I think we're good. Like, it's pretty early on. If it's anything like Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii, then, you know, Diesel. I don't think I can level these up. Oh, okay, so I can upgrade it based on the number of points. Okay, so I do like the explosive. Yeah, the flame grenade. I, I like using that. How many how many points is it to upgrade? I'm failing to see this right now. Four, okay. So I just clicked it and figured it would show me. Um so cooldown. Hit scaling. That's a reasonably good upgrade, I guess. I feel like that's pretty good. Alright, so that's leveled up. Um maybe it's just uh Dome Armor. That's probably gonna be important. Difference. Okay, so it ups the amount of defense, and uh, five seconds off the cooldown is absolutely massive. Let's see if we can win this time. A lot of our points. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Should I specialize in something, or should I just upgrade everything? That's the question, right? Eh? Hit scaling. 125% to 150, that's not that much. Uh, I don't know, I... Assault, hammer... Like, 75% damage up seems like that's a, that's a pretty solid upgrade there. And I can still go for the second level armor if I wanted to. Uh, I don't know what the difference between, you know, physical resistance up 2 versus 3. But we've got three now, so uh, it looks like you just keep going up and up and up. So um, I don't remember the assault rifle. Inflicts what? Taunt to draw the target's attack. I'm not a tanking class, so I'm not gonna level that up right now. Okay, deals by from the other side. I like that. Um, might as well just use up the points uh, before we jump into anything. All right, administrative stuff is complete. We already looked at our gear, so. Uh, okay, so the time. I wonder if we should kill a few things first. I'm thinking, I'm thinking so. Let's try that back. That. Oh, that's alright. I can see uh, one of our go up. I guess my next person, uh, the damage is also increased. Here. Oh, I am taking some pretty good damage. I guess I'll throw up the uh, shield. Looks like he's going to. I don't know how long it lasts. Alright, we just need to get to it. Yeah, let's take the Oh, I think we can do that. Oh, that's great. I'm only doing good, I'm not doing perfect things. Now, he's healing, but I haven't done anything to heal. I'd like to know uh, what I'm doing there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 
I do like Gameplay Chronicles. I don't think how it really showed exactly if you were front or um, you know, side or the you know, back of the monster. And I think it shows like you know, the amount of range you're at as well. So gonna take all those items. Gonna take them all. So that that thing is oh, I guess now we're in range. I don't have time. How is this even Alright, so it's your level 5. That's easy, so... Um, how do I switch my weapons? There we go, okay, we're fine. This is gonna go on. Yeah, you're fine. Alright. Uh, looks like you then... Oh, here, Elmer. He's, uh, taking some things. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, this doesn't seem terrible. I'm shooting the foot. Oh, I started that time. I don't actually know if it does. I guess that just ups the gauge or maybe I didn't do Ooh, okay, yeah, so being up close, not very good. Yeah. Yeah, this this music is all over the place. Some weird kind of pop music before with R and B, hip hop, uh, early with rock. I I don't know how I feel about it. It is oh no. Okay, um, what what is he on? Yeah, okay, that should be good. I feel like you're gonna die. I guess I gotta just, like, take it up close. Whack, you died properly. Alright, self-preservation, there we go. I think Elma's gonna drop dead. That's six life left. Alright, they're saying do this. Oh, what am I nearly again? Got it. Oh, she came back with one life, or did she come back after the we thing was dead? We are awesome. Nice work, Lynn. You fought well. We are you did too. Awesome. Nice work, Lynn. You now let's get well. down to business and install that too. data probe. If we stay here now for long, there's no telling what other playmates might show up. If we stay here for long, there's no this telling beam of light indicates a frontier nav site. It marks this the ideal spot to bury the probe. Okay, the probe should be ready for insertion. I'll just boot it up. Thanks, Lynn. Okay, the probe should be ready. The top half of the cylinder contains the probe itself. Thanks, the, the bottom half, half is a laser. It dissolves the soil so the probe can burrow to the proper depth. We tried just planting them on the surface at first, but we kept running into problems with the local wildlife damaging the goods. Burying them is going to save us all a lot of time and headaches in the long run. We all set? Yes, ma'am. Whenever you're ready. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. Why don't you do the honors? You can launch it right from your comm device. Give it a try. Let's do it. I'm assuming they're referring to the gamepad. Let's launch. Oh, no, I don't get to do anything with the gamepad yet. That's a pretty hefty throw there. Good. Now we just need to give it a minute to reach the target depth. Good. Now we just need to give it a minute to reach the target depth. And installation complete. We are now online with a solid connection to Frontier now. Installation complete. Excellent. See, at the end of the day, there's really not much to it. Excellent. The hardest See, part was calculating the, the, day, the ideal probe really locations. We need them spread out evenly the to maximize data collection. Yep, planting probes is easy. And the more we plant, the more likely we are to find missing crew. Yep. 
So anytime you see a probe site, there's no excuse not to plant that sucker. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks and report to Secretary Nagi. That'll do it for your training. Let's head back to the barracks. Take all the items. That's always the solution. Installing data probes. Okay. I thought they also gave you some other benefits, like maybe money or something. Um, okay. See, so yeah, I guess just be mindful of the monsters. Uh, okay. So this seems seems planted. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that each. So I see on. So you can't see it, but on the gamepad, on that weird grid that they showed earlier. Um, yeah, the the map. I can actually see on this one block. It, it does have a drill um, symbol on it. So I'm guessing if I was to move to let's say this next area over here. There might be another spot to uh, to drill after I finish collecting all of these uh, their little crystals. I look around for it, maybe. Oh, that's level ten. I don't think I want to mess around. To level fifty-five. Yeah, I don't want to be messing around over there either. Oh, that, I got all excited, like, oh, there's one. That's, uh, that's exactly where I started, I believe. Yep, so that one is where we started. I don't know. Just looking at my little mini-map here, to see what, uh, what option we can go with this. Let's, let's try this over here, and then I'll swing back around and kill the guy here, too. And then, uh, maybe we'll... Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Right Ready? Let's move it. Let's play it. I I haven't quite figured out how that exactly. Is. I'm not dying a bunch, so I'm. I'm that makes me happy. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I definitely felt that. Close thing up to go. Yeah, it's something to keep getting quicker and quicker. If anyone's hurt, say something. I got a workout from all that running. I'm not hundred percent sure. Although, yeah, this game does look super cool. Alright. We're picking these up. Not sure if we missed any of them behind us. Okay. I do see what people are talking about when you just kind of jump in the game, it's feeling a little bit overwhelming. Um, I, I definitely feel that as well. Just, uh, the world just might be too big. I think having this many items just hanging around, I don't think, I didn't feel like Xenoblade Chronicles had this many. It had, it had many, sure. And, and you know, that was, that was a thing, but this just feels excessive. Maybe just because they made it so much more noticeable. Oh, let's see some here. I'm hoping that yellow dots are good things. What do we got here? I feel that. Okay, let's do it. I guess we gotta tap the A button. And. Yay, we got. something. I don't know what we got. Looks like we got green fairies or something. Honestly, I have no idea what that actually game is. At level 17, that's a no go. Probably don't. I know we just took it a level eight. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. 
Conjunction with the whole. Go ahead and it. Okay, that's not great. I guess I'll just return. Oh, there's another one jumping in the Touch me up. I mean, okay, I guess I'm returning. I don't think they can raise me. Um, wow, that went that went really poorly really quickly. Okay, I guess, I guess we'll start making our way back. I think though, if it's anything like the Xenoblade Chronicles on the the Wii, we do get to continue to keep all of our items. It's not. Uh... Those are level seven. Wow, do I ever feel small? Um, yeah, we should be able to keep our uh, items even through death. Let's let's try one of these little guys. I, I feel a bit better about this. Yeah, like, yeah, look how fast that is. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to pick up a bunch of quests that are going to land us right back here having to kill those same things, so I think it might be a bit of a waste of time just to sit there and just keep killing everybody when I, uh, when I suspect that we'll likely get quests to do the exact same thing, so we might as well, you know, two birds, one stone. But yeah, all this running around does give it a fair bit of, uh, Fair bit of scale, that that is for sure. Um, it hasn't annoyed me yet. Now again, from what I've heard, it's like 20 or 30 hours in before you get the, the mech suit. Um, so maybe after 20 or 30 hours? Uh, hey. Yeah, it might be open for discussion then. Uh, I can't talk to you. Um, you know, that might be a little bit, uh, a little bit too much running yeah. Talking to people, seeing if they got any quests. Um, oh, that's a bit nuts. Uh, it still doesn't do that much help. I don't even have a map on me right now. So. Okay, well, that's that. Blade Barracks. Sorry, I'm gonna have to remove this yellow door. I'm suspecting I'll use a break. I'm surprised like nobody's commented on that ridiculous jump yet. The setting for it is that they came from Earth. Maybe the planet has less gravity? Maybe. Yes and no. 
Okay, let's try this. Oh, I still don't have a blade ID yet. Okay. Let's see what they have to say now. Commander Vandom. Well now, look what the Commander cat tracked in. Well now, look what the cat tracked in. Sorry we missed you last time. We could have come to meet you at HQ, you know. Sorry we missed you last Indeed. time. Indeed. I suggested as much. HQ, you know. Twice. Indeed. And we know how much I enjoy being told what to do. Twice. Anyway, I, I hear you tangled with a tyrant. Way out of your league. On anyway, a training mission, no less. Way out of your league. That On was reckless. <laughs> and goddamn magnificent. That was reckless. <laughs> I like this guy already. This guy's fantastic. Sure, let's go ahead and save it up. So, Commander, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit here today? So, Commander. Well, I can't just ask Nagi to do everything, well, to do everything for me. I'd be out of a job. Well, I can't just ask Nagi hey, to do Hey, I delivered you the new recruit, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, you hey, won the bet. The Don't worry recruit. about it, all right? I'll settle yeah, up with you yeah, later. You, you know I'm good for it. Don't worry the about bet? It, right? I'll settle up I'm with sure I'm needed elsewhere. If you'll all excuse me. Commander. I'm sure I'm needed elsewhere. If you'll all excuse me. Commander. Well, that wasn't obvious at all. Huh. Look at you two. Well, that wasn't I swear, you're like two children excited about a new <laughs> toy. Look at you two. Look who's talking. Like I don't recall ever seeing you file a request to personally train a rescue before. Is that so odd? It is before we even asked her to become a blade, little miss so stick in the rear. It is Usually I ask when I don't get your slang expressions, but something tells me to just let that one go. Yeah, so at least he's calling her out on it. Enough about that. Where are your manners, anyway? I still haven't been introduced to our new recruit here. Where are your manners, anyway? Commander Vandom is Blade's top officer. In a past life, I was chief engineer on the White Whale. Same idea, basically. Someone has a problem, I fix it. You follow? Same idea, basically. Someone has <laughs> a problem. Not much for I conversation, are you? So you still haven't told us Not why you're here. From the look of things, I'm guessing this isn't Silence a social here. call. You, told us why you're here. you don't think? Things, no. So let's cut the crap and get down to business. You don't think? Ha! <laughs> no. Sounds like you're so learning my expressions just fine, business. Elma. Anyway, well, they're first pretty serious, we need but Chatty Cathy here anyway. to choose a division and pull an assignment. Team. First we need Chatty Cathy here to choose a division and pull an assignment. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get started. Whoa there, Itchy Trigger. I know you're just chafing at the bit to run out there and Whoa, grab the world by its tail. But you need to choose a division first. Once that's all hashed out, we can get into detail about what your first assignment's gonna be. Pretty much everyone in New LA works for Blade, in one of several different fields. Helping to explore Mira, or to maintain order in the city, or... Well, you remember Nagi's speech, right? There are eight different fields in all, and each one has its own branch within Blade. There are eight different fields. Officially, they're each called divisions. Naturally, you'll want to choose Officially, one that best suits divisions. your personality and your talents. Naturally, you'll want to choose one that best Let's start with the Pathfinders. Pathfinders' number one responsibility is planting data probes, like you did on your training mission. It may not be the sexiest job, but important? You bet your ass it's important. It may not be the sexiest job. We've only been on Mira two months. We don't know jack about this place. The more probes we install, the faster we can get our bearings here and give ourselves a fighting chance. We've already detailed how important it is we expand the Frontier Nav Network ASAP. So, for the time being, I'll just remind you of the highlights. It helps us keep Blade safe. It helps us keep the city safe. And most important of all, it's the key to locating the missing parts of the life hold and recovering the rest of the human race. Okay, next up, interceptors. You met Akalov and Evans, right? 
Irina and Gwen, this is their division. Interceptors have one main duty. Protect New L.A. and everyone in it from the wildlife here on Mira. Right now, this is probably our busiest division. This is a pretty intense division. Interceptors ride shotgun for the research egg heads. They escort VIPs around, and they help any other idiots who get caught out there with their pants down. Next are the Harriers. Remember Doug Barrett, the scale pilot conducting the test flight with Lynn? He's part of the Harriers. If you think of the Interceptors as defense, Harriers would be New L.A.'s offense. They specialize in preemptive strikes on clear and obvious threats. But only on clear and obvious threats. They're not meant to go out and just blast any indigen that moves. And you got your reclaimers. These guys are in charge of finding the other pieces of the white whale. Among other things, that is. Including anything of ours left behind after a battle. Scale debris, weapons, personal effects. It can get a bit morbid, frankly, but it's gotta be done. Until we're up and running here on Mira, and have this place completely figured out. Until we're up and Everything we brought from Earth needs to be treated like it's irreplaceable. Also, the search for the life hole. That's mostly on the reclaimers. Also, the search for the life hole. Next, curators. Curators are the first to scout ahead to unexplored territory. Bringing back whatever samples they can get their hands on. Brutes, bugs, sticks and stones, you name it. It's not all picking berries, though. Being a curator also means being the first to encounter unknown indigents. Next? All right, prospectors. Prospectors do, well, prospecting. They poke around, looking for minerals, resources, and whatnot. Things we need for everyday life here. We packed all the essentials we could on the White Whale, but that won't last forever. We need to be able to replenish our water and fuel if we want to survive. I want to do all of them. And sooner or later, we're going to have to figure out how to replace things from scratch. From the socket on a skull's knee joint, right down to the frying pan in Lynn's kitchen. Without these guys busting their butts, we'd have no future to speak of. Next up, outfitters. All of our ground gear and scale weaponry is developed in conjunction with private arms manufacturers, or AMs. Outfitters are Blade's way of supporting these AMs. They'll seek out anything that might inspire new weapon ideas, and even assist with testing new prototypes. Finally, the mediators. These are the folks who keep everything hunky-dory with John and Joan Q. Public. Any problems a civvy has, they come to mediators. Fight with your neighbor, mediators. Lost cat, mediators. It's not a division for everyone. You need to be a jack of all trades and a people person. Someone with my charming personality, probably not the best mediator. But if you got what it takes, it's a clutch role, keeping things cool on the home front. if you got what it takes, it's a clutch role, keeping things cool on the All right, so I think that's all eight divisions. Any idea which one you'd like to join? Don't fret about it too much. I honestly tuned in after like five. you still have a lot of freedom in how you operate. Mediators can still get out there and mix it up, hunt indigents, whatever. And if a Harrier wants to take a break and settle an argument, that's their prerogative too. And if a Harrier wants to take a break and settle an argument, to be honest, even though it's sort of frowned upon, you can actually change your division whenever you like. Even though it's sort of so there's really no reason to stress about this. All right, you ready to choose? So there's really no reason to stress about this. All right, you ready to choose? I am not going to ask him to explain the divisions again. So I guess I'm just going to have to decide. <laughs> Yeah, and we're on pins and needles here. Yeah, and we're on pins and needles here. Sure, yeah, let's let's continue to confirm. All right, let's all right, let's check out the bottom ones cuz I didn't really pay that much attention. 
I don't think I want... Yeah, I don't really want to train new peeps. Like, completing missions are is alright. Like, actions that boost the division. Okay. Um, this one might be alright. I like exploring. I'm assuming we're going to come across a lot of minerals and stuff like that. If it's anything like Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii. Curators. Um... Just picking up stuff off the ground might be an easy one to try out. I don't think I want to do that one. Like just reclaiming old stuff, so. Well, this one has critical. What? Yeah, critical master. That's the support effect. I wish I knew what the effects really did. Melee master. Don't need that. Ranged master. Maybe? HP support. I really should, I guess, just be looking at the uh, the effects, because that's what's going to really matter. TP, R&D, defense. Crit, crit probably matters, right? Ah, uh, forget it. Alright, we're going to do with curators. Not like most uh, fancy title, but I like the idea of exploring um, and collecting minerals found there, so let's do it. We gotta kill uh, tyrants, that's gonna, that's gonna be a job. There we go. Then it's settled? It's settled? Alright. Thank I'm God not going back over. on it. By the power invested in me, yada yada, you're officially a blade. Yeah, I agree. Congrats, and welcome. I know you're gonna do great. Congrats, and welcome. I know you're gonna do great. Now for the job. Let's get down to brass tacks. Nelson's team has gone missing. Last contact we had, they were installing a data probe out in Eastern Primordia. Then, nothing. Nelson. Pathfinders, right? Are we talking indigens here or what? Your guess is as good as mine, but they did have a skull with them. You'd think they could hold their own, or at least run away. All right, we're on it. We'll head to their last known location and go from there. Report whatever you find ASAP. Of course. Let's move out. Roger that. Of course. A reward. 20,000. I like it. I like where this money's coming from. Chapter 3. He's flying through these chapters. Uh, okay, blade services. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we need to pick up some missions. That, that uh, request, uh, that's going to be most important. So I can fast travel. Okay. Significant landmarks. It doesn't look like there's any significant landmarks on my map, so... I'll probably just run around for a bit just until I get used to the map. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay, so they're saying, you know, go ahead, buy gear and whatnot. Now, wasn't there a terminal, like, somewhere right, like, literally right around here? Yeah, here we go. Alright, now we can do this. Barracks customization. I wanted to... Room colors? Common room. Yeah, let's, let's change the colors up. Wow, I guess I haven't unlocked... Any colors? Yeah, let's just go with bright. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I just think this place needs to be brighter. There we go. Uh, I guess that's all the... Uh, I feel like that's all... Uh, at least for now, I'm assuming I'll be able to... Uh, 
I'm not gonna bother messing around too much with that. I need to go find like the, the actual proper board. Um, picking up some missions. Let's do this. I guess I now know that it has a connection. That's fine. Where are you? Yes. No, I don't know really what that's doing. Hey. Oops. No, I don't think there's a limit I would to pick up, so. Set. No reason to leave any behind. Alright, that's good enough. That's good for me. I guess now like that map thing could have made yeah. I'm sure there's a way to zoom in. Uh, I guess uh this would have run it. Oh, let's do it. Oh we got a question mark over here. I hope that means like World of Warcraft the other question. Now what? Yeah, the quest. One, two, three, four. Alright, let's uh, what's your quest? Alright, yeah. I've been listening to a bunch already. Let's make that our, our primary one. Alright, hey. we're running it. Now then. Okay, what level is my character? We leveled up yet. Yeah, level 6, so we can't use the new gun. But we're getting there. We are getting close. Let's do it. Back here we go. Yeah, like I said, like, this music's just kinda... It's not bad, just... all over the place. I guess... Yeah, I guess we gotta kinda go this way. Seems like these levels are already pretty high. I wanna kinda kill a couple things just to... Make sure we're kind of keeping up with the, the level in the grind. That was perfect, was it? Uh, these guys are pretty tough, though. Where to next? 
place looks pretty badass. All of these guys would be able to wreck me right now. Can I get those crystals? My right, level eight. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking not. I think that's a bad idea. Don't know where we're running to though. I've got a bad feeling. Uh, I don't want to fight this guy. Oh shit! Should we try it? Give it a try. Ready? Uh, Let's move it. I don't know how to Come run away yet. Right. 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 It's just simply that. It's nice to go back. Oh, that's Based on the map, that guy is, is not, not getting away from us. He is right behind us. Okay, I think he finally... Oh, no, no, he's definitely still right there. Okay, I think he's got it. I do want to go back and grab the two items that missed time. There we go. Maybe they're around for some reason. How have they leveled up yet? Oh, I, th I think it was it 7 or 8 for the gun. There we go. Okay. Here. Does it actually up the, the damage at all? It doesn't... Oh, okay, yeah, it goes... What am I at? Okay, so it's at 4, so you go up to 8. I, I think that's probably okay. Attack's gonna go up to 28, so... More than doubles it. Okay. Still need another level for that. Yeah, 
can't wear that yet. Alright. We're doing what we can. Doing what we can here. Seems like we still have a long ways to go though. Alright, we're stuck to touch these guys like we did last time. We just get absolutely stomped. Oh nice, there is an auto run so I don't have to sit here and keep holding the button. Was well, getting a little bit old. Alright, let's see what we got here. That's a weird looking thing. A bunch of level 12s. Nothing aggressive, I'm assuming that the. Uh... Oh, there we go. I have something over here. Just do what we Go! Yeah, sure, I, I feel like we're lucky. Okay, let's see what else we got going on here. What? Now he's gonna send, so we're gonna do his job to kill something. Guess we'll give it a try. I won't have to like it. Level 9. Um, yeah, hopefully with some upgraded weapons like I just equipped, uh, we'll be able to do alright. But uh, yeah, absolutely. Ready for it. Uh, not moving that mad. But it's not stupid very I think Lynn's take I know. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah. On top of it now. Oh, it's a bit of a I'm kind of here, right? Ooh, that is not good. Um, uh, I wish I had items or something like this. Like, it's close, but I feel like this attack is going to be decimated. Did, did we get it? I don't know why they even bother. Nice. Ooh. That was that was too close. I feel like the game's just giving it to me a little bit. Uh, yeah, this guy sucks. We just let the thing drop dead. Probably there's still a little more life to go. This guy is happy that we did his job for him. Makes me happy that uh, that he doesn't have to do it anymore. my first day here and you're asking my opinion on your plan.
Please, I'll finish that. See if we can use any any new gear. Where are we at? Oh, it's still only seven, so nothing new. Well, I'm thinking with that, it's probably time for a break.